hello everyone welcome back to my channel in the last video we have talked about bioenergetics and a little bit introduction to the photosynthesis now we'll be talking about chloroplast which is the site of photosynthesis site of photosynthesis is the chloroplast now what is chloroplast exactly and in this video we'll talk about a detailed structure of chloroplast first of all you should know that in plants, the leaves contain cells called as the mesophyll cells. Mesophyll cells are those cells in which uh, photosynthesis occurs or chloroplasts are present in the mesophyll cells, right? There are two types of mesophyll cells, palisade mesophyll cells and the spongy mesophyll cells. There are two upper epidermis in the leaves, the upper epidermis and the lower epidermis. The upper surface is the upper epidermis and the lower surface is the lower epidermis. The both the epidermis are covered with wax cuticle. Wax cuticle is a substance that is covering the leaves from both the sides, upper and the lower sides, and it prevents the transpiration or excessive evaporation of water. Right? Excessive evaporation of water is prevented because of these cuticle coverings. Now, here in between we have the air spaces in the leaves and this is the stoma or the stomata which is the little pore in the lower epidermis also present in the upper epidermis but they are in lesser quantity in the upper epidermis as compared to the lower one and in these mesophyll cells we have these little structures called as the chloroplast which are the organelles of the cell right and in these chloroplast the pigments which are responsible, which are required for photosynthesis are present, right? So if we move from the leaf of a plant up to the chloroplast, which contains the chlorophyll carotenoids, these pigments, so it will be in a way that green leaves, green leaves contain cells called as the mesophyll cells. Mesophyll cells can if, if we enlarge a mesophyll cell over here, here it is a mesophyll cell for example. In mesophyll cell, here is a large vacuole and nucleus is present at the side of this cell. And in this cell there are many chloroplasts present, right? One mesophyll cell contains about 20 to 100 chloroplasts, okay? So now we will be talking about detailed structure of the chloroplast here you can see a detailed structure of a chloroplast right in the chloroplast it we, we have two membranes chloroplast is a double membrane structure the outer membrane and the inner membrane here it is the outer membrane and the inner membrane and the space between these membranes is the intermembranous space right now inside of the chloroplast we have an aqueous fluid called as the stroma it is a gelatinous fluid which contains different substances, for example, enzymes required for the dark reaction of the photosynthesis. It also contains ribosomes and it contains its own cellular DNA, for, that is the own cellular DNA of the chloroplast is also present in the stroma. Then we have membranous structure in the chloroplast called as the thylakoid. Single, if there is a single membranous structure, we call it a thylakoid and if many thylakoids are stacked together these are called as the grana or pl if plural that is the grana here you can see three thylakoids are stacked together and this uh, bundle you can say is called as the grana and the single one is called as the thylakoid right these grana are interconnected with each other with these membrane structure this we called as the lamella now Thylakoid also is a membrane structure. Out at outer side there is a membrane, and inner side of the thylakoid is called as the lumen, which is a space inside the thylakoid. Right. So there are different uh, uh, terms that you must know about chloroplast. For example, first of all, chloroplast is a double membrane structure containing outer membrane and inner membrane. Then there is the intermembrane space between both membranes. We have a gelatinous aqueous fluid called as the stroma which contain different enzymes and ribosomes and all that. Then we have different membrane structures called as the thylakoids. Single one is called as the thylakoid and if they are stacked together we call it as a granum. 
which is the stacks of thylakoid then in these granums or thylakoids are connected with each other by membranous structures called as the lamellae and inside the thylakoid there is a membrane uh, space called as the lumen of the thylakoid these all sites are very important as because various reactions of photosynthesis occur at different sites which is very important according to the point of mcqs right thylakoids are the membrane structures that contain the chlorophyll that is if it is a thylakoid for example and its inner membrane and thylakoid also contain two membranes and its outer membrane of the thylakoid and it is the intermembrane space of the thylakoid remember it is not a chloroplast it is a single thylakoid here we have a thylakoid and this is the single thylakoid outer membrane of thylakoid and inner membrane of thylakoid at this region we have green pigments called as the chlorophyll right here you can see a detailed structure of the thylakoid this is a thylakoid membrane central hollow portion thylakoid lumen and the outer one the thylakoid membrane here these are the stacks of thylakoids and are called as the granum this is a single thylakoid many thylakoids stack together called as the granum okay now as you can see that this is the thylakoid and these are the many chlorophyll molecules on the thylakoid membrane these chlorophyll molecules are necessary to capture the sunlight present in the and are present in the thylakoid membrane now here we have the stroma and its contents stroma can i, I have already told you that stroma includes the circular dna of the chloroplast mitochondria is also an organ that has its own dna like likewise chloroplast also has its own circular dna stroma also contain ribosomes stroma contains thylakoid membrane systems it also contains starch granules that are produced as a result of photosynthesis and the enzymes required for the process of photosynthesis right these all are present in the stroma dark reaction of photosynthesis occurs in the stroma so enzymes required for that reaction must be present in stroma so it, these are those enzymes now we have the pigments right the most important pigment required for photosynthesis is the chlorophyll which is of many different types for example uh, we have chlorophyll a chlorophyll b chlorophyll c chlorophyll d chlorophyll e and in the bacterium present is the bacterial chlorophyll bacterial chlorophyll and the most important one of all of these is the chlorophyll a and all others are the accessory pigments we also have other pigments like carotenoids carotenoids right the chlorophyll for example firstly we will talk about the structure of the chlorophyll we have two main parts a head and a tail of the chlorophyll right head is hydrophilic and the tail is hydrophobic hydrophilic means the head is water loving and the tail is water hating or it is basically non polar here you can see the detailed structure of the chlorophyll present over here it is the head of the chlorophyll here it is the head of the chlorophyll also called as the porphyrin ring which include four pyrrole rings four pyrrole rings right in the center we have the atom or the element as the magnesium which is bound to four nitrogen atoms right and each nitrogen atom is further bounded to four pyrrole rings and one is a cyclopentone ring here you can see this is the ring number 1 this is the ring number 2 this is the ring number 3 and this is the ring number 4 these are the four pyrrole rings and this one is the cyclopentone ring cyclo pentone ring right and this whole structure that is the four pyrrole plus one cyclopentone is called as the porphyrin ring or the head of the chlorophyll structure here we have a r group and here it is another r group right this r group is the hydrocarbon tail which is the tail of the chlorophyll molecule 
called as the phytoltale and this our molecule is a basically functional group that differentiates between chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. If this R group is a methyl one then it is chlorophyll A and if aldehyde is present at this position then the chlorophyll is the chlorophyll B right here you can see we have two chlorophylls the chlorophyll A and the chlorophyll B the porphyrin head is present over here and the phytol ring is also present over here and you can see over here the methyl group and the aldehyde group right aldehyde group is in chlorophyll B whereas if it is a methyl group then it is a chlorophyll A and here we have a long tail of carbo hydrocarbons it these are the 20 carbon atoms 20 carbon tail called as the phytol tail uh, tail of the chlorophyll structure right so basically this is an organometallic structure that is this is the organic portion this is the metallic one these are the formulas chemical formulas for chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b if there is a methyl group at r position then it is a chlorophyll a and if it is the aldehyde group then it is chlorophyll b right so to conclude we can uh, note down some points for the structure of chlorophyll that is number one point point number one we have chlorophyll a is a very important pigment required for the photosynthesis or the most important pigment it is of most importantly two types the chlorophyll a1 and the chlorophyll b there are two parts of the chlorophyll one is the head part of the chlorophyll and other is the tail part of the chlorophyll right head is the hydrophilic head and tail is hydrophobic head is also called as the porphyrin ring tail is the phytol chain these two things that is the porphyrin ring and the phytol chain make up the structure of the chlorophyll now porphyrin ring contains a central atom the magnesium which is bound to four nitrogen atoms right each nitrogen atom is then further bound to bound to a pyrrole ring right pyrrole ring and we have another ring a fifth ring present over here which is called as the cyclo pentone ring okay this is the structure of the chlorophyll basically and the chain the phytol chain is the hydrocarbon chain containing 20 carbon atoms in it okay the head of the chlorophyll is also called as the tetra pyloric head tetra pyloric head because of the presence of four pyrrole rings now a uh, important point to be discussed is how to number these carbon atoms or the rings of the chlorophyll right so for this we have now see very carefully this one is the chlorophyll ring number one first pyrrole ring this one is the second pyrrole ring then this one is the third pyrrole ring i should change the color so that it is more visible yeah this one is the first pyrrole ring this one is the second pyrrole ring this one is the third one here we have the fourth one and this one we have the cyclopentone ring okay now numbering of carbon atom is also very important in case of uh, understanding the structure of chlorophyll right now we will number the carbon atoms like this here we number the carbon atoms like this uh, we start numbering from the ring number one here this one is the number one carbon then this one we have is the number two carbon then on the second ring this one R group where R group is attached is the third carbon this is a point of MCQ that where exactly the R group is present which differentiate between chlorophyll A and B the R group is present over third number carbon atom right third carbon of the chlorophyll structure then this one is the fourth carbon of the second ring then we have our third ring here this one is the fifth carbon this one is the sixth carbon 
then on fourth ring we have our seventh carbon over here eighth carbon over here and the nine and ten includes here this one is the ninth carbon and this one is the tenth carbon okay the, in this way we number the carbon atoms of the chlorophyll again on this diagram on this diagram you can see this one is the first carbon atom then this upper one is the second carbon atom here we have the third one to which the methyl group is attached then here we have the fourth one then on the third ring we have the fifth one this one is the sixth one and the seventh carbon atom over here and the eighth carbon atom over here and nine and ten are present at the fifth number ring the cyclopentone ring this one is the first ring this one is the second ring this one here is the third ring this is the fourth ring and this is the fifth ring okay now according to these now after numbering these carbon atoms you are now able to remember that R group which differentiate between chlorophyll A and B is present on the third carbon atom third carbon atom that is present on the second ring right and this chain this phytol tail is present over the seventh carbon tail of chlorophyll is attached with the seventh carbon atom right this is a very important point to be noted this is attached at the seventh carbon atom tail is attached and seventh carbon atom is present where seventh carbon atom is present at the fourth ring here four number ring is the ring which includes the seventh carbon atom and at seventh carbon atom tail is attached now if we discuss some of the differences basic differences between the chlorophyll a and b molecules these includes that the chlorophyll a color is bluish green color chlorophyll a is bluish green in color and chlorophyll b molecule chlorophyll b molecule is olive green in color right olive green olive green in color and the functional group difference you already know chlorophyll a includes the methyl group and chlorophyll b includes the aldehyde group okay chlorophyll a is the important pigment for photosynthesis because it contains the reaction center what is reaction center we will talk about that in later videos and these other pigments are the accessory pigments that is they help the chlorophyll a molecule in the energy capturing of light how will they help this we will talk about in upcoming videos moving on to the next pigments we have carotenoids right this these carotenoids and other pigments that is the phycobilance we will talk about this in the next video so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up thanks for watching